Hi guys, just making a short video in response to a question that my friend Chris Melton uh, from The Rotator had asked me. He is a, a customer who has frozen shoulder and has some chronic, has had some improvements in range of motion but has some chronic discomfort in a few muscles. Uh, so frozen shoulder can be a pretty challenging and debilitating condition to overcome but tremendous things can be done with it to improve uh, range of motion and function of the shoulder. A big part of that is restoring soft tissue health. So we're going to use a fancy tool here, a tennis ball, to help to do that. We're going to do this in the standing position. You can't beat the hands of a skilled manual therapist, so I would recommend a quality physical therapist, massage therapist, athletic trainer that can do soft tissue work. But if you don't have access to that, um, then you can do this on your own or even between appointments uh, to help that out. So this is going to be similar to a technique called, technique called trigger point therapy or sustained direct pressure. When you find a tender spot on the muscle that you're eliciting from pressing the ball into the muscle, then holding that for 30 to 60 seconds, finding a tight spot, um, a sore spot, holding that for about a minute, and then letting it go away. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the ball and we're going to move it across the top of the shoulder, whether it's here on the more supraspinatus or upper trapezius, more on the levator scapula here. Or another area that gets very tender is the posterior aspects of the rotator cuff, infraspinatus and teres minor. So if you just take your hand, reach across the shoulder, if there's a bone right there, a little spine, then you're in good shape. You should have one of those. We're going to go just below, above that, just below that, and then just inside of that or closer toward the spine. We're going to do this in the upright position. The ball might slip and slide a little bit. That's okay. Sometimes if you have a dog chew toy or a ball with a little bit of a tacky resilience to it, there are therapy balls for it, but a tennis ball works okay. But you want something with a little give. I wouldn't go right to a lacrosse ball yet. Put it in position. Lean back, and then you're going to turn your body back and forth, and the ball is really slipping across this dry erase board. You can also move your body up and down by using your legs. Looking for an area that's tender, stopping, holding on it for 30 to 60 seconds, and then going to the next spot. So this is an area you can do. You can do. I'd recommend doing this for five to 10 minutes at a time. You can do this up to twice a day. If it gets sore and tender, then only do it once a day. If it's still sore and tender, then do it every other day. If you have any pathologic condition, then don't do it. Um, you know, check with your licensed healthcare practitioner. But if you're just look, looking to loosen up some tight and sore muscles, this tennis ball is a handy way to do that to soften up this tissue. Yes, sir.